Okay, ladies, does anyone have any good ideas for Kimberly's surprise birthday party? There's no such thing as a bad idea, so don't be scared, just throw something out there. Since Kimberly is my best friend, I wanted to make her 29th birthday super special, even if it's her 15th one. Well, my oldest son had his birthday party at Dairy Queen. I personally loved the play place, and everyone had a rocking time. Um, so, that's just one good idea I have. You do realize the Dairy Queen play place got removed, like, years ago, right? Patricia, you are bringing a lot of negative energy to this room, alright? Leslie deserves to be here just as much as you do. Karen is becoming so close to Leslie, but everyone knows it's only so she can hear all her trashy stories and her gossip. If it weren't for that, Leslie would not be in this house right now. I have an idea. We can decorate my house like a vineyard from France. We can serve expensive wine and cheese. Maybe even escargot. Something really fancy. You know how Kim really likes her wine. Oh, wow. So there is bad ideas. I've told you a thousand times that I'm vegan, which means that I don't eat cheese and I certainly don't eat snails. Do you know what eats snails? Rats and birds. Do I look like a rat or a bird to you? Of course not, Kimberly. You got that nose job like two years ago and it fixed that problem right up. Mm -hmm. I thought Kimberly was going to love my idea. I put so much effort into it. I just want to feel accepted by them. Before you guys tell me your terrible party theme ideas, I'm going to tell you exactly what I want. I want a beach theme pool party at your house, Jenny. And I want the pool to be open so that the kids don't bug me and I can wear my bikini. I am definitely not getting into that pool. It's April! Don't worry, Patricia. The pool won't be open until June. What a coincidence. I want a pool party and Jenny's pool is closed. Ugh, she can be that way. Not like a care anyways. I guess we'll just have the party at my house then. That's fine. It's nicer anyways. I was thinking like summery stuff for the food options. What do you guys think? Well, sometimes my family likes to steal the garbage cans from the gatehouse pick market. Um, the kids like to throw their homework inside and like the hydro bill, you know, just like stupid stuff like that. And then we light it on fire and roast chicken over it. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, um, I got salmonella once, which is odd because I wasn't even eating salmon, but it's our summer tradition, so. That sounds like a blast. You're gonna have to tell me all about that someday and maybe even tell me why your son's friend went to Juvie. I heard it was something about spray painting on our film block but I want to get all my facts right before I go spreading it around, and Leslie's a great source. I was thinking we could have lots of watermelon. Everyone loves watermelon. Right, Patricia? Yeah, that's a really good idea. Whoa. She cannot say that to you. First of all, Patricia, you cannot conform to racial stereotypes like that. It's just going to make it worse. And second of all, Jenny, I can't believe you were that racist. In Curtis of all places, you need to get out of my house. And if you think that you're bringing your husband to my party, oh wait, you don't have one. My husband died not long ago. It's been really hard for my family and I. Up next on Real House Sex and Surprise! Surprise! What tarnation? Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Maya, and I'm the writer, editor, and director of Real Housewives with Curtis. Click up here to watch episode one of Real Housewives. Click over here to watch part two of this episode, which will be uploaded when we reach 500 views. A special thanks to all my actors and all the extras who helped me out, and to Darren for giving me tips on camera work.